Hey, what's up, you guys? Time is back with another Lensing's video. Before I get into the fragrances that I'm going to be discussing today, I just want to give a special shout out to all you guys, man. You guys have been rocking with me since day one, or you maybe just hopped on the bandwagon a couple days ago, or maybe just a few hours ago. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just uh, thankful for you guys and definitely want to give a shout out to all of you. Okay, now I don't know all of you by name, so I can't do that, but I'll shout you all out. All of ya getting a special shout out from me, so kudos to you guys. But now the fragrances I got today, um, I actually bought from FragranceBuy.ca. Now, if you're not familiar with FragranceBuy.ca, I would actually suggest you guys start using them a lot more, okay? Especially with FragranceNet, they've been kind of little fishy as of late. FragranceX has been pretty decent. Um, but now some people are a little reluctant to buy from fragrancebuy.ca. You know, they're from Canada, so you don't know when you're going to get the packages. However, they do ship out every Monday to the United States. So if you're smart enough, you kind of just buy stuff on Saturday or Sunday, and then Monday they kind of get everything together. And I think they ship it out sometime Monday night or even Tuesday morning. So you're most likely going to get it by the end of the week anyway. So definitely look into them. They definitely got great prices. Um, now, the only thing with them is that you do got to um, buy five bottles at least to get free shipping unless you're part of their loyalty program. Then you start gaining all these different points and you can use those points for free shipping, um, $10 off coupons, stuff like that. So their prices are generally pretty cheap. Um, I wouldn't say they're cheaper than Fragrance Net, but sometimes you will find a fragrance that you just cannot find on Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, any of those sites. But you go on FragranceBuy.ca and Lord behold, they have it. So, there you go. And now the cool thing is, one thing I like about FragranceBuy.ca now, all the other places too, they got their kind of own box, whatever. You know, I uh, think Fragrance X and Fragrance Net have their own boxes. But it's, you can tell they're, they're boxes because they just have this little pull tab. There's nothing about it that says, oh my God, this is from Fragrance Net, Fragrance X. Fragrance Buy lets you know that they are sending you their box. Okay, you get this red box with this Canadian sticker right here. Looks like a shoe box. Then it says, your latest faves are here. How's that for excitement? So that is so cool. I definitely like that. Again, FragranceBuy.ca. Definitely, definitely take a look at them. They are legit. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to open these up. I got two of them. Um, and again, you got to buy five to get that free shipping. Um, unless you're part of their loyalty program, which I am. I got enough points. So I was like, man, let me just get free shipping. Bought two of them. So that saves you about $15. So if you're going to if you're gonna shop on Fragrance Buy, make it worth your while, okay? Your Fragrance wardrobe just got cooler. See that? Pretty cool. Then they put all these peanuts and stuff in here and all this bubble wrap stuff. So pretty damn excited for this okay so um if you guys recall i did a video uh maybe about a week ago um for my 420th subscriber i was planning on doing a cannabis note fragrance uh video for the 420 however some of the fragrances that i bought did not come in on time so i wasn't able to do it but i'm gonna do it now where at around 440 so we added another 20 so 420 plus an extra 20 so here we go so that being said the first one i got <clears throat> is this one from demeter i think that's demeter fragrance library this cannabis flower okay um now honestly it's the first time i've wore these fragrances from this house it's demeter 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 i don't know demeter i don't know but it's cologne spray. I'm not even sure if it's an EDT or anything like that. Probably not. But yeah, had the cannabis flower in there. So just wanted to see what it was like. See if I can detect any florals in here. Any of the cannabis. <clears throat> now, pick me up sprays. That's sort of similar to those women um, body sprays. And what the hell is this? Look how long this atomizer is in this thing. It's like a damn snake. Coiled up in there. Look at that. See that? 
So that's a weird looking atomizer. I've never seen one like that before, but here we go. It's all, well, they got one of those, uh, looks like one of those alt sprayers right here, that big old huge atomizer at the top. So let's go spray it away. Cannabis flow. And it does kind of spray like one of those body mist sprays. So maybe that's what it really is, but yeah, let's see. Pretty sure this is unisex because I think it could say for men and women, but here we go. There's definitely a lot of florals in here, and then there's a undertone, just a small undertone of that um, cannabis note in here. It's almost kind of got this, almost like this licorice -y floral. Maybe some kind of star anise or maybe fennel in here, but then just a slight undertone of that cannabis. But honestly, this is a very, I'm actually digging this one, you guys. Um, I feel like you get this licorice note, then just slightly, just a slight undertone of that uh, cannabis note. It is there. It's not super potent. It's not loud. It's not going to project. No one's going to think you're high on the hashish or anything like that. But you will definitely notice it, okay? This is a damn good smelling fragrance, you guys. Um, Man, sometimes those cannabis uh, fragrances, especially the one that I actually reviewed not too long ago, is great for summer or spring. This one, I actually think this would be like a nice fall because of that star anise, that licorice smell. And then when you kind of get those little breezes, those breezes start pushing a little bit of that cannabis notes around and you start getting a little whiff of that with that licorice fennel type smell. This one is very nice, you guys. And like the quality seems pretty nice too. If you can see my hand looks pretty darn glistening right now. So I'm definitely excited to um, use this now again it says pick me up cologne spray. I don't know what the hell that means This is an EDT EDC probably an EDC So I'm probably gonna have to spray heavy with this but the scent alone is very nice you guys licorice -y, and then you get that little bit of Cannabis underneath it's not like I said, it's not super loud. And it's not super noticeable Okay, not like someone really is gonna have to smell wherever you're at They're gonna have to get up on you to smell that cannabis. It's not Gonna be all over the place, but the smell on this is really nice, you guys. I'm liking this one a lot. <clears throat> Next up, another one with a little bit of that marijuana note, and that is from the house of Azaro. That is this Azaro Club. Now, I think this one has, uh, I forgot what's the notes, but there was cannabis in here. I think it was probably the heart note, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think there was a few citruses and whatnot in here, but here we go. Let's get into that. A Zara, never knew they had one that had the cannabis note in it, but here we go. Open up that box. We do got batch codes on this box. I'm not going to bore you to death with that damn batch code shit. But here we go. You know, honestly, this kind of screams like one of those um, player balls. You know, player ball type bottle. Like this this thing looks like it fucking walks with the player ball. Like, yeah, look at me, man. Look at me. I'm the shit. The player's ball fragrance right here. And there you go. If you guys do want that batch code alert, it's right there. Um, so it's an EDT concentration. This is a 75 ml. I think I paid like 23 bucks for this from the site fragrance buy.ca. So definitely check them out and make sure my hand is clean and it is i'm kind of digging this all black atomizer as well i'm glad they didn't go with like a silver one so here we go can definitely smell that in the air already this one is very citrusy it's very aromatic it's it almost kind of comes off like a bathroom spray like the fresh linen spray or something like that i'm 
not really getting too much uh, cannabis right now. We'll see if maybe the dry down starts maybe bringing it out a little bit, but I mean, I guess you can say you can detect it. It's not as, I don't think it's as noticeable as the cannabis flower uh, fragrance, but it's there, but it's really light. This fragrance is more about the other notes, the citrus. I'm assuming there's probably maybe some kind of lavender in here maybe as well. It's kind of most creamy and smooth as well. It started off kind of citrusy and loud and now it's kind of mellowing down a little bit. So you, you get a touch of cannabis, not that much. If you smell it, you smell it. If you don't, you don't. But it is not loud. But my long shot's not even close. This one, this one is kind of hard to tell with right now, okay? I'm not sure if I like it or don't like it right now. Um, I'm definitely going to have to give this more of a wearing, maybe. I um, feel like this could be great for the fall, the winter, because that opening is very kind of, it's a bit piercing. That opening is like kind of loud. It's, again, citrus, aromatic. Now, you think of citrus, you think of spring and summer, but this one had some other stuff going for me that made me think of spring. I mean, fall and winter, okay? Something that's going to pierce that cold weather. Uh, but then when it starts drying down, it starts getting this creamy, Smooth, almost butteriness, butteriness. Again, a slight little bit of note of cannabis, very slight. So, with that being said, um, from the get go, I'm a little disappointed with this one, Azaro. Um, man, maybe I should have went with something a little higher up, but I just wanted to get this because it said it had cannabis. I was gonna do this for the 420, but man, let me go back to this other one. Now the other one, with the dry down, you are starting to get a lot more of that cannabis flower. Again, someone's gonna have to get close to you to smell it, okay? They're not gonna, I don't think you're gonna be able to whiff it in the air like this. No, this sits more closer to the body, which I guess is good. Uh, you know, you don't wanna get pulled over and having a cop whiff the air and you're not even smoking anything and they drag your ass out to see what you're puffing on. So I guess that's good. Unless the guy decides to hug up on you and fucking start smelling your neck. But other than that, that's a dang good fragrance. I'm digging this one a lot. Actually, this Demeter Cannabis Flower. The Azaro, it's just like, man, I'm just not getting enough of it. I think if it was more, a little bit more loud than what it is, because you got to be a fucking bloodhound or a damn fucking... Uh, one of those sniffing dogs the police carry around to probably smell the marijuana in this because honestly I'm not getting it that much at all it's, it's there it's a little bit there but it's not really uh, enough to turn any heads even when someone gets close I don't even think they're going to detect it as much I mean you really got to focus in and try to smell it but with that being said Two fragrances um, from FragranceBuy.ca. Again, definitely look at them, okay? Sometimes they are the cheaper alternative. Again, if you buy like on a Saturday, they're going to ship it on Monday. So most likely you'll get it before the end of the week. And shit, if you're close to like New York, I mean, not now with the snow, but in the summertime, you're probably going to get it even faster, probably two days after they ship it. Because I think they're, they usually ship it to Buffalo first and then Buffalo to wherever it's got to go. So... If you think of it that way, definitely look them up. Buy something on Sunday, have them ship it Monday, you have it by the end of the week. But there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Yeah.